I'm Paul Rooney, Letter Kenny, sitting in Blake's Bar in front of a St. Union's flag that I've taken photographs of many a time. The flags came about, uh, I think it was accidentally. Uh, uh, they were probably the last series of work that, that I actually started into, only because I noticed something. It was a Facebook page. Uh, I'm from Ireland, but I'm, I'm more importantly, I'm from Donegal. And I thought, more importantly, I'm from Letterkenny. And what's more, what's most symbolic of it, Letterkenny, is the city unit's flag. It's something that we can all sort of sit in the pub, drink pints, and roar for the team about. So that's the way that came about. Raymond Carver, beautiful writer, one of my favourites. Um, and I started writing about uh, fridges in this kitchen. He had fridges, and it was so simply written, and I'll just point out something here. Uh, what was in, in one of these particular fridges was fruit juice, lunch meat, and champagne. And I looked into my fridge, and it, there was no champagne in it, obviously, but there was cans of Guinness, there was fruit juice, and there was cheese. So I started taking photographs, first of all, of my own fridge, and did my friend's fridges. And I got lots of those. And I was starting to think about people who is from Letter County who'd gone abroad. So again, via Facebook, uh, I put out the call to get fridges from expats. So I got fridges from New Zealand, Germany, Finland, uh, Holland particularly. So um, I think I've used about two of those in the series of five, including three that were local and two from abroad. And it's, Work of this are similarities, different sort of product names uh, and the contents in the fridges, but they're still the same. The basics are all the same. There's the milk, there's, there's cheese, there's butter. It's all so alike in a way. Uh, the fridges, they kind of ended up, that's why we use light boxes really, depending on the fridges. Uh, they're nicely sort of enclosed the fridges. They're cropped very, very close. They're very, they're very intimate, but um, very anonymous as well. You can't really tell um, the individuals that's actually in them unless you would know them and they've been in their house, obviously. Um, the way they're cropped also, you can only see certain parts, so you don't know what's in the freezer or what's in the door of the fridge. Like, um, you know, could the freezers be holding like body parts or horse tranquilizers? Or you don't know. You have to look inside. And that's, that's why I think it lends to the imagination of uh, what's behind these things. There's also a sort of element of, um, do you remember what you call it? Uh, Through the keyhole, sort of daytime television. Lloyd Grossman and stuff, there's elements of that, you know. Uh, who owned this fridge? Which I like as well, because obviously, um, being an artist type, you have time in your hands at a certain point, so daytime television is important.